Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Firefox 70, which was released on October 22nd, and this is the sixth major browser update in 2019. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the key changes in this new browser update. First up, tracking protection. Mozilla has focused a lot of the efforts on building a browser that has robust privacy features. In Firefox 70, Mozilla has enhanced tracking protection to block social media trackers by default under the standard settings. If you are on a website, you'll see the shield icon in the address bar. And if you click on it, you'll see social media trackers. And in this case, it's detected Facebook tracking. A purple shield icon indicates that Firefox blocked trackers on the site. A gray shield indicates that no known trackers were detected. And a gray crossed out shield indicates that enhanced tracking protection is turned off. As part of the enhanced privacy protection, you'll also find a new Firefox privacy protection report. You can access this report by typing about colon protections in the address bar. This privacy protection report shows you how many times Firefox block tracking attempts. It will also keep you notified of known data breaches with Firefox Monitor. You can sign up for data breach alerts with your Firefox account, as well as check your other email addresses. In the Breaches tab, you can check all the known breaches that have occurred and been tracked. Going back to the Firefox Privacy Protection Report, you can view your saved logins to manage passwords and sync devices with Firefox Lockwise. Finally, there were a couple of performance improvements. Mozilla has introduced a new JavaScript baseline interpreter, which is expected to improve page loading by 8%. If you're interested to learn more, check Jen's blog post. You'll find the link in the description section. Secondly, Mozilla rolled out a web render to more Firefox Windows users, now available by default for Windows with integrated Intel graphics cards and resolution of 1920 by 1200 or less. You can check if web renderer is enabled by typing about colon support in the address bar, and then scroll down to the graphics section to confirm if web renderer is enabled or not. So these were some of the notable changes in Firefox 70. You can check the list of detailed changes in the release notes. You'll find the link in the description section. In terms of the BrowseMark benchmark test results, the overall performance of Firefox remained steady, though comparatively, Google Chrome continues to outperform. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.